Rain, the precipitation over the past couple of days. The winds are going to calm down, but this weekend, Pete, more rain. Again? Yeah. I know you're really excited about oh, that, right? Pumped. Yes. Pumped and jacked. Get fired up. <laughs> I think we all are. No, uh, more not. rain on the way overnight into Sunday morning. We'll keep an eye on some of those small rivers and streams. With the potential for a little more flooding just because we've had so much rain lately. In fact, our system from last week had similar timing Saturday night into Sunday morning like this one. More on the exact timing in just a minute. Right now, our current temperatures a little on the chilly side here. North Kingstown at 26. You're at 26 in Richmond. Charlestown at 26. 31 in Narragansett. Bristol, you're at 33. Fall River, 31. And 32 right at the freezing mark in Little Con. Up north we go, 27 here in Glendale, Cranston at 28, 25 in Attleboro, and 25 in Norton. And our wind chills are running a little bit on the chilly side, hence the word wind chills. It feels like 19 in Smithfield right now, 22 in Providence. And it's not because the winds are excessively strong, it's just because actual temperatures are cold enough where it doesn't take much to knock those wind chills down into the upper teens and low 20s. So dress appropriately this morning. Beautiful view here in Newport with good visibility as well in Narragansett on a cool, clear, but calm morning. Now, a few snow showers showing up on the satellite picture zipping through Pennsylvania. That will arrive this evening. More on that in just a second. Our second weather maker, the one Patrick and I were just talking about, that is gathering strength here in the Rockies. That'll grab some moisture from the south and scoot through tomorrow night. Now, this afternoon, it starts off dry. This is around 1 p.m., increase in clouds, chance of some rain and snow showers just after the evening commute and into the early evening. So there could be a few slick spots as this arrives, but not expecting accumulation overnight into tomorrow, drying things out. So this is 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Our rainmaker arrives late Saturday night, so Saturday daytime is certainly okay, and most of Saturday evening could end up being okay. This may not get here until after midnight. Continue heavy at times into Sunday morning, and then the heaviest showers should be over with by, say, 1 or 2 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. That being said, I do think there will be some lingering showers and pockets of drizzle into Sunday evening, so if you're heading to the Pats game, you may want to bring your favorite Pats poncho or rain jacket because it may not be completely dry for the game, even though it's not going to be a washout either. Temperatures hour by hour, mid 40s here by 2 p.m. And then 6, 7 p.m. We're down into the upper 30s. Deeper into the night, most temperatures should get to the low 30s and upper 20s by 10 p.m. down to 35, 34 just before midnight. And in the seven day forecast, you will see those temperatures on the cool side the next couple days. So Saturday morning does start. On a chilly note, 32 around 8 o'clock in the morning and then low to mid 40s by 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So sort of similar temperatures to what we're going to see today. And then that rain arrives late Saturday night into Sunday. So on Sunday, the one thing we do get would be the milder temperatures into the mid 50s, although that's not really much of a trade off considering that it'll be raining for a good part of Sunday, especially through the early part of the afternoon. Monday temperatures not too bad there and then Tuesday. How about upper 30s? We are watching the potential of an offshore coastal storm on Wednesday. Right now it appears it'll stay just offshore, but you know what? Little wiggle, wobble back to the left, back to the west could mean a more significant storm for southern New England. So that is something we will keep an eye on. WPRI.com is the place to go for your latest forecast updates. Now let's get you to Melissa, who has a look at traffic. Hey, Melissa. Good morning. Pretty cool.